Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon so that I may be able to buy more materials to do fascinating science demonstrations with. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Today we're doing a redox reaction, reduction oxidation reaction. All chemical reactions are redox reactions. In today's demonstration, the experiment is called the traffic light reaction. We will see the solution turn from red to green to yellow to red again, the colors of the traffic light. And it is quite remarkable. These color changes occur because of the different states of the oxidation and reduction of glucose upon sodium hydroxide. Glucose acts as the reducing agent, the reducing sugar, and sodium hydroxide acts as the oxidizer. So let's get to the demonstration. I have in this beaker 100 mils of deionized water and 20 milligrams of indigo carmine, which is a dye that it will act as an indicator. In this beaker, I have 100, 150 milliliters of deionized water three grams of glucose and five grams of sodium hydroxide. Now I'm going to add both solutions together and what do we expect to occur? I suggest first we'll see a green color then we'll wait two minutes and it'll turn yellow and with stirring it will turn red and with more stirring it will turn green then we'll let it sit and it'll turn red. That is why it's called the stoplight reaction, or the traffic light reaction. Let's mix the chemicals together. And we observe that the color is green. And I suggest that after waiting two minutes, it will turn yellow. Let's wait for the color change. I'll leave it up to you to describe in the comments section below exactly what a reducing agent is, an oxidizing agent is, and what a redox reaction is, a reduction oxidation reaction. The solution right now is green and we're expecting it to turn yellow in two minutes. Let's wait for the color change.
The stirring introduces oxygen into the solution. Oxygen also acts as the reducing agent in addition to the glucose. The reaction is dependent upon oxygen. The solution is still green. We'll give it one more minute. If this reaction doesn't work, I encourage you to explain to me exactly where I made a mistake. I bought a solution of 1% glucose, D-glucose, and in order to dilute it in 150 milliliters of deionized water, I had to half the quantity of sodium hydroxide from 5 grams down to 2.5 grams. But essentially, we're dealing with 150 milliliters of deionized water, 3 grams of glucose, and 5 grams of sodium hydroxide mixed together with the indigo solution. It seems to me that the solution is turning a yellow-green color. The next color we should expect to see is red. <clears throat> red will occur with more stirring, introducing oxygen into the solution.
when the red color occurs, it will be very obvious. We'll give the reaction one more minute to occur. Thank you for your patience. Another 30 seconds. I followed the directions for preparing these reagents exactly according to other YouTube chemists.
we do observe that the solution is more yellow than green. It started off more green, but it's not turning red. In order to perform such de demonstrations, we must meet Mother Nature with her exact requirements. And when we speak of Mother Nature, we always spell her with a capital M. So procedures never fail. We just don't provide Mother Nature with the exact requirements to do what she, we want her to do. And so this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, to keep looking down.